Hello and welcome to this Murder P video and today we are looking Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Autobot Blaster in E-Jet and I think this is probably one of the last uh, figures as part of this line unless I'm incorrect which I could be um, and then as always we have the beautiful artwork there and if I don't drop it we have beautiful artwork there looks fabulous Voyager class Voyager class I do sometimes wonder how they come to their classifications and charge ridiculous amount of money for some of their figures and some not so much. Bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get them out of these packages. Oh, we got the promo shot there as well, which I forgot. We did a little bit slow. That was a bit rushed. I do like that. The artwork is always gorgeous on this. I should show a bit of respect to that. So let's get Blaster out of his box. Okay, so here he is, Blaster, one of the most famous Autobots ever, and he was always a good, gorgeous, gorgeous figure, and whenever he's been released in the past, uh, he, I never felt like true justice was done, although I did actually like the recent Headmaster version of him, which was obviously bigger than this figure, and um, actually when I bought him, he probably sat very well with my masterpiece line which I had back in the day I don't have it anymore I sacrificed that um, long ago mainly when the price point went up and I thought you know what I can't I simply cannot afford that anymore but um, this figure looks like he goes really well with all the other figures G1 that have come out as well um, you can see the springs in there which I find a little bit disappointing um, but it's not the end of the world and literally unlike Soundwave, so Soundwave would have had his uh, button on the top uh, Blasters is down here and literally you can get his finger kind of actually in there Sort of to do that And that releases that and then literally you can drop this in there and I don't think I know I did not drop that in there properly Let me do that. No, that's terrible what were you thinking? What were you thinking? There we go. There he is. Yeah. Gorgeous. And like all other figures, there is some really nice detail all the way through. Um, however, noticeable are all these minor little pins throughout. Um, I noticed this in particular with uh, Perceptor. It was there. But um, yeah, he does look very, very stellar. Very cool. Very nicely put together which is fantastic um, and then next up you've got that iconic let me just get the light on there you got the iconic blast gun which um, has lots of detail um, I feel like it would have been nice if they just added a little extra paint in there but I guess uh, that just boosts up the, the price um, but that's always going to be something that perhaps I gripe about so in terms of articulation the head does go all the way around there is a swivel on the chest, which is cool. Then this goes all the way around, up like that. And then the single elbow joint. There is no rotation on the hand, which I find a little bit disappointing. Now, the one thing I would say about these, these are quite bulky. So if you want to try and get them in different poses, you have to be very, very careful. Can do the splits, which will obviously, I think, be instrumental for his uh, odd mode. His leg can come up like that. You gotta bear in mind this. So, if you want it to go like that, you want to do that. Uh, nothing down there. And you can just flex that out a little bit so you can get him into, I don't know, some different, different kind of poses. But just, um, just. I guess you just want to find works, what works for you. But he does look very, very nice. Very impressive. That is Blaster. So let's, uh, I'm going to go transform him so we can have a look at that what mode. All right. And here is uh, Blaster in his what mode. And um, it's quite a decent transformation. And it's very, very clean and feels very very flush um compared to uh odd modes of this type in the past okay you got a little gappage on the top and maybe a little bit at the back 
but it does very very well being compact you could even get the gun on there which I think is very very cool but the important bit is this front bit and um, okay we're never gonna get it to um, an actual killer blaster size but I feel like this is probably the smallest killer blaster blaster has ever been um, and it actually suits if that makes sense and I could actually if they uh, create hands that could hold I feel like Ultra Magnus could potentially hold this maybe um, but anyway it is what it is um, I almost feel like with this release for it to be the perfect release they just had to release a, a little Gila Blaster to go alongside this um, it's great that it transforms into this but that would have been like the ultimate experience for them. This is lovely. I like it a lot. And then you can just, you can still press the button there. Press the button there. Come on. You're embarrassing me. Anyway, maybe it's because I didn't put him in properly. Let's try that again. No, that's not the right way. There we go. There we go. It was released. Uh, none of these LR buttons move etc but the detail on there is phenomenal and it looks pretty decent i like it a lot so um, well done hasbro for giving us a decent blaster okay just before i finish up i just wanted to show the little bit of detail inside of there which i feel is um very decent and very reminiscent of the 80s in terms of um what's the word cassettes good old-fashioned cassettes I used to love good old mixtape me. Um, and here is Ejet. I've got to say, this feels, in my mind, a little bit poor compared to the quality of Blaster. Um, he does have some decent rotation. I think it's the translucent... Um, I think that's what's bugging me the most. It just doesn't sit right. I feel like he should have just been blue. It just seems a bit weird. Just seems a bit weird, but um, he does have some nice little articulation, which is kind of cool. I kind of dig. So um, from that perspective, he is okay. Yep, that's him. He's gone. That's how bad he was. Um, <laughs> so, um yeah, the, the translucent thing doesn't work for me. Other than that, I really like Blast. I feel like he's a fabulous figure and um, definitely worth the wait. And let's be honest, it was a long wait. I think... A lot of fans have been waiting for this figure to be released in this in the War for Cybertron trilogy for a long, long time. Especially those that are trying to complete their 86 lines. Um, he was obviously a pivotal part to that movie and therefore after. Is, and keeping that uh, traditional of what was before and afterwards, I felt like he played an important part. Um, anyway, I hope you liked my video. Um, please support my channel by subscribing. I really appreciate that. Make sure you look after yourself and embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye, folks.